The Forerunner lineup for Garmin has always been a pretty popular series among athletes. The company introduced the 400 955 series just 9 months ago and surprisingly, Garmin came with another Forerunner model which is Garmin Forerunner 965. These two smartwatches come with a range of features designed to help you monitor your health and fitness goals, track your workouts and stay connected on the go. But what new 400 965 have to offer compared to the 400 955? To find out, in today's video, we're going to put them side by side and we'll take a closer look at the key similarities and differences between the Garmin 400 965 and 400 955 to help you choose the right smartwatch for your needs. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Let's start with the design. One of the key differences between the 4965 and 4955 is the display. With 4965, Garmin introduced an always-on AMOLED display for the first time in the 4Runner lineup that delivers brighter colors, more vivid hues, and superior contrast compared to the 4955's trans-reflective LCD display. The watch's display size has undergone an upgrade from 1.3 inches to 1.4 inches while maintaining the same case size of 47 mm for both versions. Furthermore, the bezel thickness has been reduced resulting in a slimmer watch with a thickness that has decreased by 1.2 mm going from 14.4 mm to 13.2 mm which makes it more stylish and comfortable rather than just being a bulky watch. Additionally, the watch display resolution has been enhanced from 260 by 260 pixels to 454 by 454 pixels offering a more vivid and intricate display that's easier to read and comprehend. Also, the 4965 features a newly designed bezel made out of titanium which replaces the previous plastic bezel found on the 4955. For display prediction, the 4965 utilizes Gorilla Glass 3 for its lens material whereas the 4955 employs Corning Gorilla Glass DX. In terms of features, while both the 4965 and 4955 are designed for multi-sports athletes, the 965 offers some exclusive features that the 955 does not. Specifically, the 4965 includes wrist-based native running dynamics and additional training load metrics such as chronic training load and training load ratio, which enable athletes to compare their recent training efforts with their overall fitness level. These metrics provide valuable insights into an athlete's progress and can help them optimize the training regimen for better results. Moreover, the 4965 includes running dynamic features like ground contact time and vertical ratio that do not require any additional sensors to function. In contrast, the 4955 needs an external running dynamic sensor to access these metrics. Also, the 4965 also has increased detail in maps at higher zoom levels. As for the health features, both the 400 watches provide a comprehensive range of health monitoring features by Garmin including the most recent wrist-based heart rate sensor, pulse ox, body energy monitor, sleep score and insights as well as women's health tracking. Regarding battery life, the 4965 and 4955 have varying battery life capabilities. The 4965 can last for up to 23 days in smartwatch mode and up to 31 hours in GPS mode and up to 10 hours in GPS mode with music, while the 4955 can last up to 15 days in smartwatch mode, up to 42 hours in GPS mode and up to 8.5 hours in GPS mode with music. And yes, the 4965 also has new USB-C charging cable in the box. In terms of price, the 4965 is available for purchase at a cost of $599 which is $100 higher than the base model of the 4955. It's also priced similarly to the 4955 Solar Edition, even with the Solar version, the 955 could not compete with the massive battery life of the 4965, so that's certainly a huge upgrade from Garmin. In short, the 4965 is a recent release that offers quite some notable upgrades over the 4955, with most of them being focused on the display. The 965 boasts a marginally larger AMOLED display than the 955, delivering enhanced color saturation and improved contrast. Nonetheless, when it comes to software and features, the two watches are quite similar with only negligible differences separating them. So, if you own the 4955 series, we would say there is no need to upgrade to the 4965 yet. 
that's all for today and as always thanks for watching the video like comment and share with your friends if you find this video to be helpful and subscribe to our channel if you want more videos like this on your feed